Hello, Hammeroos. It's me, Bulbs Hamu, and we're back with Hexit finally. Uh, it's been a little while. If you've been on the channel, I did post a link that talked, or not a link, I'm sorry, I post a comment that talked about a uh, few problems with my computer, just that I wasn't able to record. Uh, what had occurred was uh, Joe slash Little Latino and I were working on multiplayer Hexit on our server. And I recorded. There was a little bit of lag while I was recording. It wasn't terrible here and there. There were a few times I couldn't move, which was a little annoying, kind of funny at the time because it led to some deaths. But when I went back to review the footage to start editing it, unfortunately, it was nothing. It was like blanked out. Some of it was messed up. It was not usable. And I tried a few tests with Joe to get to get it to work and nothing we were doing was getting any type of results it was still blacked out at times um, for a while everything else was kinda of messing up even the single player here I didn't know if it had anything to do with messing around on the server if something file wise I did a backup of the world so that we wouldn't lose this cuz we've lost one world already in Hexit so I didn't want to lose another one uh, did a few things it was still kinda of messing up Eventually, we worked on a few things I didn't know about. I didn't know I could add more memory to what Hexit and Minecraft could actually see. It was only seeing one gig. So I've upped that amount. I've also changed a few programs on my computer that are running. Uh, it looks like things are actually working better. I've actually turned up the settings a little bit. I've gone in here. Let's see. Video settings. We have it back to fancy instead of fast. And I have back on maximum lighting, smooth lighting. We're still at normal render distance and still at max FPS on performance. And I haven't really noticed too much lag. I ran into a new world and just started blowing up things, like just spawning in explosions. Tried to generate as many chunks as possible. And it looked like it did pretty well, so we'll see how this runs for now. Right now I've just been switching out everything to potatoes because they're, in my opinion, the superior vegetation in this game. I don't like wheat. I don't like carrots. There needs to be a golden potato in Minecraft. There might already be, or they might be adding one. I don't know. I don't keep track of that. But if there isn't a golden potato, they are missing out on an amazing opportunity. It should, it should be amazing. And they'll make it one day, and I'll be happy, and I will eat nothing but golden potatoes, given that they're a regular food, and not some type of thing in enchanting or anything weird. Oh, speaking of enchanting, uh, I've been working on a few things when I've been playing regularly. I've, like I said, I've been able to record, and some of the playing I've done, I couldn't even play regular. But I started enchanting a few of my items, and I stopped because something kind of threw me off. And when I went to enchant my bow here, it didn't cost anything. Um, I don't know if it'll actually let us do more. It's got decapitate, and I'm breaking. Um... I don't know what blood does. I haven't looked up any of the enchantments, but yeah, if I blood attuned, I'm not going to put that on there because I don't know what that's going to do, but enchanting cost is zero. And I thought maybe, oh, something might be glitched with that, but when I put this in here, repair cost one, and if I want to up it to looting, which I do, 14. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enchant it and do that. But I don't know why that one costs and the other one doesn't. It does not make sense to me. Uh, maybe this could be solved with me Googling it. Like, Googling solves everything, but I'm always lazy, as you guys know. So, if you guys know and want to save me the trouble of why it's free to enchant those, that would be amazing if you guys just want to link it to me or something. Otherwise, I'm going to assume it's because I'm just that much awesome and the game likes me. <laughs> Anyways, stuff I've been working on in the meantime. Uh, I'll come up here and I'll show you the view of the village. Uh, not really 
anything big right now. I have plans. I leveled out. I actually want to go a little higher so the fences don't mess us up. I leveled out all the ground from that line all the way through here. So it's all level. Everything's on the same page. I fixed the gravel paths. Um, as you see, I kind of made an entrance there, and I'll go down there and show you that and kind of give you the idea. I still want to do mossy cobble for most of the gate, make it look like the village has been here for a while. But what I think I'm going to actually do is over time I'm going to change the village. I'm going to make it better, take away some of this planning stuff, just have houses, various things. Uh, but that area, I realized after working on it and getting some high views, uh, up high views of it, that it's got a natural little border there and I realized I can just block that off kinda of make it like a gated area and make my main house there because <laughs> I I deserve a better house than the rest of the villagers they have to continue to live in squalor and poverty but I'll live in a nice big mansion and I'll have storage in there I'll probably rip up that pond ser mm, I don't know koi fish pond let's call it a koi fish pond <laughs> but I'll take up the farm take out those two houses and that pond thing gate it off and build an actual house uh, we'll have the smeltery probably in there we might even put the smeltery there outside the house and then have the rest of this houses and various things can give it back to the villagers and we'll eventually get rid of this terrible eyesore of a crow's nest uh, one of the projects is going to be making the gates I guess we shouldn't have done that. Let's go back up. Okay. So that gate is... It's, this is north. So that's the east gate. Um, there's going to be south gate there, west gate there, and then the north gate, I don't know if we can see it from here, is going to go that path and it's going to hit the wall right there. And we'll have four different ways of getting out and then we'll have my house there. We might have a back way slash escape route that maybe goes underground and comes out of ways but we're gonna fix this up I'm gonna focus a little bit more here because we've we've claimed this entire chunk of land this is this is Hamu land now we have tamed that blue place <laughs> that castle place and that fort place and we we did some looking around over here we're, we're gonna call that claimed like we took all those places out we did our <laughs> our adventuring and we've earned this place by right so this is Hamu land I'll make a flag eventually to claim it but this is the capital where we live and that's that scary door we're eventually gonna check out I need to start every time I do something I didn't do it with these three but in the future when we finish an area make one of these little markers for the map and then we can date it and we can name the place so it can we can start getting towns or I don't know this really wouldn't be a town it could be like an academy but this would be you know castle town and this would be tower town and that can be the academy of Hamu land something along those lines something derpy something that doesn't make any sense and this can be uh, that town over there is what we'll name it but we'll start adventuring more soon but I want to get this area something an actual base instead of just random items uh, hopefully next episode we'll make a smeltery just a basic one over here and then I'll make a nice bigger one we can have that get many items for us melt everything down get all the ore get all the items uh, we'll use the tinkers construct mods to make those cool self-repairing items with the moss um, I need to get I need to go into the nether too. We might, hmm. We could go in the nether this episode. There's not too much I wanted to show you guys, and I need to fill time. But we'll go ahead. I'll show you this gate, what I kind of have planned. And then we might go in the nether because I need quartz. Because when I make the nicer smeltery, I might even do it on this one if I'm lazy. But I want to make part of it automated so that way if I've got a lot of ore, I can just toss it all in there and it'll auto smelt it for me and I can show you guys how to do that but the gates I have here I go, went ahead and gave it iron doors because I don't want the villagers to get zombies in here and breaking things and at least to my knowledge they can't break iron doors 
if they can break iron doors now, that just that just scares me. There's there's no safety in this game anymore. Not that there is, since it's exit, I die regularly. Uh, but I got the button set up because pressure plates invite things to come in. I use the white marble for the border just to set it aside and use some slabs up there to give it a little bump. I actually want to, for now, until I get something better, put those torches up there to set aside. And let's really quick... I just, I'm so curious on this decapitate that we got. I wonder if I can decapitate a cow. Eh, no, he's running. No. Oh, oh. Okay, we'll get him. Okay, we didn't get any cow stuff there. Let's see if we can get the giraffe. He dropped something. Scrap meat. And nothing down there. Okay. We'll test that out more for now. We need to actually get back really quick and sleep. So that way it doesn't get too dark. Um, hopefully you guys like the new intro you saw in this video. That is something I've been working with another person to get the music right. And then I just took things from the first uh, season and previous stuff in this season to make the opener. Uh, that's not my house with the bed. My bed's over here. That is some a project that I'm looking forward to. Uh, oh, I don't I don't think it'll be done yet, so I'm not going to tell you guys yet. But there's going to be more more stuff on the channel. There the, like new music. Hopefully you guys like that. Uh, the opener. Every series is going to have its own unique opener. Uh, unfortunately, Assassin's Creed. I'm not going to be able to continue that for a little while. Um, a game, that game specifically, even after I fixed everything else, that game is still crashing. Uh, I'm going to try one other thing, which is going to be a complete reinstall, and then if it works, I'll just get it back up to the same point we were. But otherwise, we might have to wait until I get the software to actually play my PS3 on the computer and record it that way. Otherwise, though, we're back to playing Hexit, and I think... Hmm, was there anything else I wanted to show you guys? Because otherwise we can go into the nether, get some quartz, work on making the smeltery, and then that way we can adventure more, because I'd love to go in that scary door. That's actually got a different term. I think it's the Dimensional Doors mod, but scary door just makes me think of Futurama, and that's what we're going to call them. But I want to I wanna adventure farther out, go beyond our area. I want to mess with the chocobos, get ourselves a stable set up. I want us to have some fun. I don't remember. I think I built that pillar so I could go up there and light that area. But I'm going to go on ahead. I'm going to get a set up. I make a diamond pick. And we're going to use the scary monolith over here. The Is that a monolith or an obelisk? I wouldn't, I'm not sure. Either way, we're going to get rid of some of that. We'll make another portal. We'll probably put it inside one of the houses. Uh, but I'll be back here in just a bit. Okay guys, I'm back, and I realized I was going to make the flint and steel to start up the fire to make the portal. I guess, to make the portal, not really start the fire. But I have no flint, so we're just going to really fast see if we can't make some. Come on. Always feels like when you want it, you can't get it. And then when you don't want it, you get tons of it. But I guess I haven't really gotten that much. Oh, dude, you almost got punched. <laughs> You're showing off his skills. He does not like these being here. I just got in his way, apparently. Yeah, let's do it over here. There might be a better way to break these. Maybe if I grabbed a uh, shovel, cause I think. Ah. Come on, give me flint. Give me flint. Give me flint. <laughs> give me flint. 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 Oh, yes. Okay, success. We'll put up the rest, and we will get going. Uh, I want to keep one block back to block us in. I put the iron in there, didn't I? Yep. Okay. Let's pop that here. 
And we're going to leave the extra obsidian here. Take the hook shot. I want to see. I'm breaking. I'm not in breaking that decapitation. I just gotta. Maybe there's. Oh, maybe there's only certain things that will drop the heads. Like creeper heads. Oh, we could probably get creeper heads. Have a good time. Uh, I need a block to place. Here. This house is eventually gonna get destroyed. I just. I want to keep him from getting in. And taking their own little journeys, so boop. Alright. We're gonna go get as much quartz as we can while we're in here. Uh, we'll also talk a little bit about what's been going on. Uh, I already talked about all the computer issues. I probably could have come back sooner, but there's been a change where I work. Uh, used to, I had off Wednesdays in the middle of the week, and that's when I did most of my recording. Uh, no one's home during the day, and that was really easy. Now it's going to be kind of in the evenings through the week when people are home. So that'll be a little bit tricky. I waited today to do it pretty late. People are in their rooms, hanging out. Not... There we go. Spawn me in. Another tree. Any monsters? That's what I'm more concerned about first. And then I'll get back to storytelling. Oh man, this is... Okay, that's a little better. I think that's quartz. Super tree thing. Oh man, this is nice. Come on. This looks so weird without everything being loaded in. Okay, it's getting a little better speed wise. We're seeing a little bit more. Oh, I saw those and I was worried it was one of those huge spiders. I think they had smoke coming off of them. Okay. Well, let's grab this. I, I brought my diamond pick in here just because we're going to get. A better pick when we do the smeltery stuff. So sadly, even in regular Minecraft, you're like, oh, I can't, can't lose this, can't lose this pick. What is this stuff? Tainted soil. Okay. Uh, anyways, now this is mostly loaded in. Oh, this place looks gorgeous. Oh, upside down trees. Um, I had Wednesdays off. That's a no go now. Recording in the evenings. Roommates are home, so... Oh, he's shooting at us. Right there, so I'll have to avoid him. I don't think that'll be too much of an issue. It'll just be kind of figuring out schedules and trying to record later. Uh, I think the recording picks my voice up really well, so I don't think I'll have to whisper. I think this tone of level should be fine. Uh, you might hear them. That might make it sometimes uh, harder because of... Oh, no, lava. Breaking all our stuff. Like, I might have to stop recording sometimes if they come out into the kitchen to make food. Come on, lava. Is there a source block right there? Oh, man, i got to be careful with this efficiency. I'll end up killing myself by accident. But, you know, that's the worst case. We'll see how it actually plays out in the long run. I think it'll be fine. I'll just record in the evenings. If, you know, they make noise, I'll stop. I'll wait till they're done in the kitchen, otherwise it's not going to be a big deal. Um, the other change is I'm actually in a leader position at work now, so even if I could get the Wednesdays back, they probably wouldn't let me because I have to be there all the time. It's one of those evil spiders. It's a baby one. <sighs> Came flying at me out of nowhere. Any others? No. So because I have that leadership position at work, I'm in charge of a handful of people, so I have to be there all the time. There was a potential chance of getting a night shift, which meant I would record in the mornings, probably, while most everyone's gone. Uh, but I don't know if if I really want to do that or not. Like, it would be good for the recording, but it would make it harder at work because the people would be split, and we'd have to make do with less people throughout the day. So, I don't know. I don't think it would be as good to do that work-wise. But... In the meantime, we can make do. We can play in the evening. This might break it up. Ah, should have brought a shovel. I didn't realize this tainted soil would be such a pain. Oh, there was a little bit of lag there. That wasn't too bad, though. Hopefully it didn't just black screen. If it black screen, this won't be usable. And the video I was making for you guys won't be able to come out. And everyone will be sad. Very sad. Not that sad, but sad enough. 
Man, this is just one crazy long vein of quartz. There we go. How much we got? This is good so far. Oh, that vein keeps going this way. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's part of what I was talking about. Like, I love, I love efficiency on picks, but I mean, all I have to do is look at this wall, and boom. <laughs> like, I accidentally broke through part of the house that was cobblestone when I was setting up the portal because I put a block in the wrong spot, broke it, and just in that half a second I let off the control off the mouse, it immediately broke. It broke part of this the wall and I was like, no I'm too strong. But let's see, this is this is a very good amount. Eventually we'll have to come do another episode in the nether like we did last time. Uh we'll actually figure out stuff to do with all these things. What Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh no 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 no. No 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 no. Oh no no no. I can't use this here because of the pigmen. <sighs> Nitro creeper. Okay. Whew. Man, the minute I threw that, the minute I threw that boomerang, I just immediately foresaw all Oh. All these guys coming after me. You're fine. Man, for a second there, I don't know if you guys saw it the way I did. When I was over here, and those two creepers are standing there, it looked like two dangly eyes off of some larger creature. And I had never seen a creature like that. So I was actually relieved that it was creepers. Because the alternative is terrifying. Okay, let's get this stuff. This is probably even more than we need at this point, so we'll grab this last little bit. Okay, let's actually kind of make a note. Is there anything in here we want to come back to check? The upside down trees are neat. I like... Th is this... Does this stuff... Oh. <laughs> does those... The vines... Are they glowing vines? Ugh. All this stuff that I need to look at on the wiki. Is that from the... Somewhat more durable than string? I may have found that last time. i just forgotten about it. Darkwood sapling. I don't know if I can grow those outside the nether, but we will try. Uh no, just a lot of nether tree. Oh, oh. Oh, are we lucky? Is that a fortress right there? Oh, it is. Okay, so a couple episodes from now we'll go investigating in there. I think oh, it's lagging a little bit. Let's really quick, let's uh just put them down to fast. That's fine. We might have to do that when we're in the nether. That's okay by me. But the current train of thought on... Oh! He sneak attacked! Oh, you jerk. Okay, I should be able to do it up high. Did, did it hit him? Oh, did it even hurt him? There we go. Aha! That would be cool if we got to get... Okay, I didn't hit him. Nice, two gas tears. Very nice. Use that for enchanting later. Um, man, him coming out of nowhere, that completely destroyed my train of thought. I think we were talking about episode scheduling. So the plan is, obviously this episode is just, hey, I'm back. Hey, there's new music. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> Hey, there's new music. Um, some changes on the channel. I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna tell you all of them just yet. Man, it is dangerous to talk and work at the same time with all these pigmen around. And now we got another ghast over here. Let's see if we can kill him without getting hit by pigmen. We'll come around. So episodes. The plan is currently next episode. We'll we'll do a smelter. Is he? Oh, he's above me. We'll do the smeltery. Have some fun with that. Yeah. Uh, after we do the smeltery, we will probably go do that scary door thing. There's a good chance it's going to teleport me far away, which means we might have a couple episodes of journeying back and investigating every little thing along the way. 
which well that'll be fun that'll mean we'll have to like actually decide what items are important and what to leave and what to take uh, but it'll it'll add suspense we could lose great items because I don't know what they're actually worth and I leave them behind for something like another boomerang yeah I think those are actually glowing I'll have to come back and get those uh, but we'll do that and then when I get back we can actually do this fortress over here I think it was this way I can probably just run over here and take a quick peek, make sure before I pop through the portal. Oh! No! Nope! 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 We'll, we'll assume it was over there. Nope. Don't want to play with him. Is he chasing me? Okay. Don't care. <laughs> I shouldn't be afraid of the spider. I have good weapons. I just, with all the pigmen around, I'm too afraid to fight. I know I'm going to end up hitting one of them. And it's going to be lights out, and it's going to be over, and I'm going to cry. <gasps> what was that? Was that an explosion? Okay. I don't think I'm hearing, like, I heard an explosion sound. Did it come, like, through that? Like, an attack through that? And I heard the sound? That was creepy. Oh man, I thought for a minute there like there was a ghast in the room or what? Is is that what I heard? Is that a freezerite? I think that's a freezerite thing. Did it crash land on my house? Oh no. It's turning to water, but it's not f falling. This is bizarre. Uh, huh. That's actually kind of neat. I mean, I should be mining this. <laughs> what on earth did it really... Is, did I come out just in time to have a, a meteorite hit my house? I, I gotta see this from above. Oh, uh, I'm half annoyed. But half that's just really funny. I guess that explains that explosion noise we heard. Yeah. That is freezerite. Okay. I'll have to fix this. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm such a mixture of annoyed and laughing at this. I. It's so derpy. And the water's going to get in the house. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. I guess I'm lucky it didn't, uh, destroy any of my stuff. Oh, golly. This is just gonna ruin the torches. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to do that thing. What is that? What is that button? Is it F7? To see where you need to put... Yeah, F7. Where there's... Creatures can spawn. Oh, my goodness. It's destroyed. <laughs> The meteor destroyed my place. Oh no. <laughs> well, let's get all the freezerite crystals. <laughs> eh. eh. How is it just filled with water in here? Uh not too bad. My my bookshelf with my backpacks are fine. Oh no. I have to get rid of all this water. Oh. Oh, this is just breaking my heart. Okay, we'll go on ahead, and on that note, we'll end the episode. Oh, this is just terrible. The house is filled with water. Uh, welcome back to Hexit, and we'll have a great time. Bye, guys. <laughs>